What is up guys? Pro Player Apathy with a Scuff Vantage review today. It's going to be a good one. I love doing these type of videos because I love informing you on the newest thing and the best things. So, ah, to begin, we already have a box right here. It's a huge box. You see, we're going to open it up real quick. All right, so we got a big box, just as big as the box that the other box was. It's a Scuff Gaming box. Scuff Gaming sent me a huge care package. All right, so here we have it, the Scuff Vantage. It's currently in the box. Now, the reason I love doing this video, and you guys might have watched a lot of Scuff reviews already, Scuff Vantage review videos, and a lot of people are either saying good things about it or bad things about it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm going to tell you all the good things. Now, I don't really find any bad things, and I've used this controller many times already. Now, the coolest thing about this specific Scuff Vantage controller is I have a Call of Duty Champs faceplate it's a call of duty champs edition when we won the 2018 champs and it's so freaking nice i really love the whole idea with that customized faceplate so before i continue the video there has been some past issues or some complications with the old scuff controller and basically this is a more improved controller and i'm going to be pointing out some reasons why and i'm going to show you a lot of good things and the reason why this controller is the best out right now. Okay, so just right off the bat, you see the controller has four paddles, two extra buttons on the side, the sax buttons, and it also has obviously the triggers and the regular buttons. So off the bat, you already can tell you have a, a lot of access to many buttons and basically in almost any area of the controller, which is really awesome, especially in Battle Royale games where you do need access like Fortnite to build and things like that. And in other games, like maybe shooters and Call of Duty, I, for example, will take out two paddles because I do not need four paddles. Four paddles are overkill. It is pretty cool to have them. Maybe you like them, but in my opinion, two paddles, the sax buttons are really cool. Uh, I love the idea that you can take them out very easily. You just basically pull them out. I don't want to break it. There you go. You see, I took out the little sax button. And you can just place them back in if you really want to use them. Some of you guys know I went to test out the Black Ops 4 beta at a private Xfinity event. And they actually allowed us to use the Scuff Vantage the whole time. And you know, I wasn't sure I wanted to use the controller because obviously I love my Scuff 4 PS Infinity. That's the controller I always use. But I really wanted to transition whenever this controller comes out to start using this controller. And I was like, I'm just going to might as well just try it. Might as well just use it. Try to get used to it. See how I feel. See if I like it. But I really love the feel. I really loved a lot of the new things. And I really love how the sticks felt and everything. And that's a lot what I'm going to be talking about also throughout this video. All right. So I think one of the best things about this controller right now is the fact that this faceplate can be easily removed simply by just clicking it out, pulling it out. That was just a rumble. It's okay. But the faceplate can be easily removed, as you can see. And you can take out the rumbles, which is awesome. I personally don't play with rumbles. You just simply pull them out. And it makes the controller lighter. If you like rumbles, if you like vibration, I play at a competitive level. Therefore, I don't really like using them. I just like having my controller feel really light. And the best thing about this too is not only can you take out the rumbles, but you can also just simply pull out the sticks. And there you have it. And it's awesome because, you know, the fact that one, if you use different sticks, if you're not a fan of maybe the regular sticks or PS4 sticks or, it's, or scuff sticks, and you, you just have the option to change whatever stick you want at any time. Now, the 4PS the four Infinity had the same feature, but this is just a more easier type because the other one had sort of a lock where you have to unlock it, you have to pull it out, take the ring out. It was a little bit more complicated. This is so much easier, so much cleaner, and it just feels so nice. And on top of that, they have like sort of a newer stick for the Vantage controller. It's like a slightly smaller scuff stick. And I, I am a dome player. I've been using dome for like three, four years now. And I love dome. I love those type of sticks. And... The more I played with these sticks, the more I fell in love with them. And I might actually make the change just because they feel so good. They're the perfect, in my in my opinion, they're the perfect width, perfect, you know, just measurement. And on top of that, they just it has a nice grip to it. It feels it just feels so comfortable when I use them. So another big thing, and I'm so happy they did this, and this is low-key like underrated. Not many people are looking at this, but they have anti-friction rings. So a big thing on the 4PS Infinity, I'll try to show it to you guys. Is that when you did this it would scratch on the ring and eventually you'll start creating fiction and you hear it will make sort of like a scratching feeling and a scratching sound and it was very bad like whenever you play a lot you start getting that feeling like every time you move your stick around just like a normal type of movement you would get that that scratching and like that friction and it was so bad it was very annoying it, it felt like you just the, the, it didn't feel fluid like it didn't feel clean and nice and now they've added anti-friction rings which is really awesome 
You can literally move the stick around. You would never feel any sort of friction. You would never feel like anything's happening. And this is an issue that they know uh, that was happening on the 4PS Infinity. And they addressed it here. And that's one thing that I find really amazing. So another amazing cool feature that they added was the remapping button on the actual controller. And as you can see, you simply just move it to the side if you want to activate it. And it allows you to remap any button you want from the controller to one of the paddles or the sax buttons on the side. So let's say you want X to be the sax button on the, on the, on the left. You can do that. If you want to make triangle the, the paddle on the right, you can do that. You have the, the control to remap it very, very easily. And it's just, it's an amazing thing that they have this now. You know, you're just, what I love about this control, you're just able to shoot, do so much. You're not limited. And it's all in the palm of your hands. Like, you have control. So, obviously, you have the new grip on the controller. Some people don't like it. I personally like it. I'm going to show you a quick glance of the 4PS Infinity controller. As you can see, it's sort of like a scaly, like, bump-like uh, grip. Not that it's a bad thing, but basically, this this grip is sort of advanced. It's There's no bumps. It's very smooth, so it feels really clean in your hands. And you still have that really grip feeling on the back of the controller. And trust me, something I always get and use is grip. I always like the scuff grip on my controllers. It's a must. And now this is something a lot of people know, but it's definitely such a good factor on a reason why I like scuff controllers. You got the trigger stops on the side. I'm going to try to do my best show it on the camera. You can see those little things. As soon as you press down on the trigger, it stops it halfway. So instead of having you... you to like go push the trigger all the way down it activates it at halfway and then simply if you remove these are easily removable you can remove these and then you see that hole right there that's the trigger here and you can tighten it up to even make it even tighter so if if you simply just move it a little bit it will activate now you got to be careful you don't want to tighten it too much i mean you can obviously test it play around with it and you figure out the perfect amount but if you tighten it too much it might just be like constantly clicking so you got to make sure you do the right amount but it's so amazing that you get to do that. And obviously you have the cover to put back and you can change this as well. Now last but not least before I go, the one amazing thing I really love about this too as well about the Skull Vantage is the face plates, the customizable face plates, the options like I said that you can do with this controller. You're just, you're not limited. You just like for example, they've made this customizable champs face plate from, for the controller. But obviously like... I have the basic gray one here, which simply, you just replace it. It's very, very simple. I have another one that they sent me, which is a blue one. And then you can just have, and eventually also customize your own. You can have different colors, and it's all in the palm. You know, you could simply have them on the side. You're like, oh, I'm getting tired of this color. I want a cooler color, or I want something different. You simply just change the faceplate, and it's just an amazing thing, man. It's an amazing feature, man. So I've seen good and bad reviews about the Scuff Vantage. More than good than bad, but I've seen it. And I personally, as a competitor, as a professional Call of Duty player, I love the controller. It fills all my needs. It really does. It has, it's improved things like the anti-friction system. Like, it, it made a better controller out of their old one. And the fact that I'm able to change the sticks, take out the... The fact that I'm able to do so much in the palm of my hands is amazing. It feels amazing that I have that much control and I just don't have to stress or struggle or, you know, send in a controller because I need new stick. Like, this is just, just no problems. I really hope you guys love the Scuff Vantage review. I'm glad I was able to do one. Shout out to Scuff Gaming for sending me the controller. Make sure to use code APATHY for 5% off any Scuff Gaming products that you purchase. It means a lot and it, I always appreciate the support. And you know, one day, hopefully I can have my own scuff controller because that would be freaking awesome. I hope you all have a good day. It's been your boy Apathy, and I'm out. Peace. It is the best controller out there right now. Trust me. I'm Pro Player Apathy.